everyone, welcome to my channel, Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a low carb lifestyle. I've been eating low carb now consistently for three years, just over three years. And just a lot of amazing things have happened since I started that three years ago. My health has completely transformed. I feel so much better than I did before I started eating this way. No more debilitating migraines. No more joint pain, no more autoimmune symptoms, no more hormonal issues. It's been great. And so I started this channel three years ago just so that I could share with a few friends of mine who were wondering what I was doing to get rid of my migraines. Thought, you know, I'll just go ahead and make some videos of what I'm eating in that. And back then, I did not know that what I eat in a day was even a thing on YouTube. But if you look it up, there are tons and tons of what I eat in a day videos from all kinds of different diets. And so I just didn't even know about that and thought that I would just put these little recipes and videos together. And since then, things have changed in a great way. <sighs> Had to get my cat down off the table. She likes trying to eat on that plant over there. Since then, my YouTube channel has grown far beyond what I ever thought it would be. My subscribers are just the most amazing subscribers out there. I have the best group of followers that I could ever ask for. You all are very supportive in my journey and um, I'm just very grateful for all of you. I feel like a lot of you are friends um, that I've never met before, <laughs> kind of like pen pals. I know a lot of your names when you comment. I know a lot of your names over in our Facebook group. And I really feel like there are a lot of great relationships that have been formed since you all have been joining my channel. And so just feeling very grateful today for that. Before we get going with my what I eat in a day video, I wanna talk about something that um, is very important. I wanna talk about the hurricane situation that's going on in the South. I know a lot of my followers, because I know a lot of you from just your posts and that, telling me from where, where you're from and all of that, are from the South. And a lot of you are in that area where the hurricane hit and there's another hurricane coming and all of that, uh, you first and foremost are all in my prayers. I have been praying daily for everything that's been going on down there. Being so far away from all that's going on down there, I have felt helpless. I've always been a praying person and I know that a lot can happen through prayer, but I also want to help in another way. For the rest of October, uh, and maybe even into November. I'll keep you posted on the dates. But I want to donate the proceeds, all the proceeds, not a percentage, but all the proceeds from my cookbook that's on Amazon, my e-cookbook, digital cookbooks that's on Etsy. I have two digital cookbooks on Etsy and I have a physical cookbook on Amazon. So any of the proceeds that come in from those cookbooks will go to Convoy of Hope. I'm very picky, I guess you could say, when it comes to charities that I donate money to. I want to know for sure that the money is going to get used for what it should be used for. I know Convoy of Hope, just from growing up in church, a lot of times their trucks are on the way to disasters that happen before a lot of other organizations are. And so I know and trust Convoy of Hope. That is who I am choosing to donate the proceeds to from the sales of those cookbooks. Just wanted you all to be aware if you have already even purchased a cookbook and you want to help in some way, purchase another cookbook and give it away as a gift um, or have one for your second home or your RV or whatever so that uh, you can just donate some money to help toward Convoy of Hope. It's really very small in the whole grand scheme of things, but I feel like, you know, it's a good way of doing my part from what I can do from where I'm at right now. I don't know if you're even able to view this and you're down in the South, um, if you have internet, if you have power, but hopefully eventually you will see this and know that I've been praying daily for all of you down there, not just my viewers, but everyone down there in this situation, that God would be a, a peace to you all during this time, a strength, 
um, and that all of your provisions would be met. Um, so uh, I don't know how to move on from that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and move on. It is um, 8.50 in the morning. I've had two cups of coffee this morning, and right now I am having some uh, Element. This is the chocolate caramel in hot water with just a little splash of heavy cream. It is cold here. It's gonna be only in the 50s today for a high, and I just wanted some more hot to drink, but I didn't wanna have a third cup of coffee, so I'm having my electrolytes in a heated way. It's very delicious. So that's what's going on. I'm getting ready right now to do two coaching calls. I am a health coach. If you need assistance with the keto carnivore lifestyle, um, I provide accountability and some advice, get you on a plan that is good for you, that can help you with your journey. Um, Kat wants to come in and say hi. <laughs> Ellie, my kitty, has to try to be in every video. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here for now. Um, when I have my first meal today, I'll be back to let you know what I'm having, and I'll see you then. All right, so it is almost 11 o'clock, and we decided to go out and get some breakfast this morning. Um, there is a little local restaurant. I wanted to say diner, it's, it's a restaurant, diner restaurant, uh, in our town, just a few miles away, and they got good breakfast, and so we're going to go there, and I already know what I'm going to be having. I'm going to be having their Philly cheesesteak omelet, it's really good, and uh, they give you a little packet of cream cheese to put on top, so uh, I'm going to have that, I'll show you a picture. When I get there, going to have some hot coffee, and so... Show I'm going to have something, but I'm probably not going to taste it. Yeah. It's got a cold in my nose. It's got a cold. I made a uh, French onion soup last night for him. It's awesome. And it's, it's over on my blog. It's the top recipe. I just, just posted it last night. Just a little recipe card of some French onion soup that I made. And um, he had two bowls of it. He said it was so good. So, um, anyways. We'll see you soon. That's Bob. My omelet looks delicious. It's got some tomato slices, some cream cheese, steak inside there, mushrooms, onions, Swiss cheese. Okay, after we got home from having breakfast, I decided that I would make a pot of chicken soup for Ed so that it would help him feel better. I had some cooked chicken in the refrigerator, so I sauteed some onions and some celery, some salt and pepper, some Italian seasoning, and some garlic powder in some butter until the onions were translucent. And then I added my cooked chicken, just chopped up in little small pieces, and kind of let that settle in for a little bit. Then I added a 32 ounce container of chicken broth. Sometimes I make my broth homemade. Sometimes I buy the broth already made. And today I used a broth that I already had stored up in my pantry. And I poured the entire carton into this chicken mixture. Then I brought this soup to a boil. And after it came to a boil, I turned it down to low and let it simmer for a while on the stovetop. All right, it is three o'clock. There is still a lot of construction noise going on outside. So you may hear some sawing, some hammering and all of that, but I'm getting ready to have a protein shake. My protein powder of choice is prime protein. Peanut butter is my favorite. And I like to mix this in a blender with some ice and either some macadamia milk, or sometimes I just use water and blend it up. One scoop of this packs a lot of protein. I think it's 20 or 21 grams of protein per scoop. So I am gonna be having this for a shake in just a few minutes here. If you're watching this video either today, October 8th, 2024, or October 9th, 2024, Equip is donating beef to hurricane victims. So you can go over to their website, you can read about it, it's only today, the 8th and the 9th of 2024. 
October. I'm gonna be doing soup and sandwiches tonight for dinner. We're gonna be doing BLTs, and we're gonna have some of that soup back there that I made for Ed. When it's time for us to eat, I'll be back to show you my delicious BLT. So it See is you five o'clock, this is dinner. I have some chicken soup right here that I made earlier today. This is my bacon, lettuce, tomato, and avocado sandwich that I have on PSMF bread. This bread is made out of egg whites and it's delicious in my opinion. Some mayonnaise on here. I use chosen mayonnaise with avocado oil and I am having a sparkling water, just plain. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat our soups and sandwiches. It's a great day for it. It's chilly outside. Um, I'll be back. So dinner was very filling. I think that's gonna be it for me for the end of the night. Usually in the evenings, if I get kind of snacky, I will get some sparkling water. Sometimes I will grab a few pork rinds and just have those like if I'm sitting and watch TV or something. But um, other than that, I am done eating for the day. I wanted to show you some of the progress on the deck for those of you who are interested. This is the large portion of the deck here. They are waiting for some supplies. They need some more decking materials. And so they're kind of on hold for that. But I'm gonna show you over here, this is our pad where they're gonna pour concrete for our hot tub. Then all around this, this whole area is gonna be patio blocks. And anywhere where there's no patio blocks is going to be uh, like a garden bed. We're gonna have like a flower bed going around here. And oh, we've got some railings up. Uh, all of the railings are gonna have a nice little light on them, a little solar light like that one. Looks really nice. And so it's coming along. It's just taking a lot of time. And right now the guys are sick too. The guys that are working on the deck, they are sick like Ed is with a cold. They did come today and work a few hours, but you could tell they were just dragging. So um, this is what it looks like over here. Still a lot of construction, a lot going on but I think it's gonna be beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember you have two ways to help. You can either help with the hurricane relief by buying my cookbook. The proceeds will go to Convoy of Hope. You can also purchase some prime protein and help get some beef out to these areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for today. Make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up. I'll see you soon, God bless.